Well, never let it said that foxes aren't cunning creatures. Well, we all know they certainly are. And you're with me tonight. Uh, we're travelling out to the farm uh, where the peacocks were. Uh, this is the third time I've come out to this farm. And last night, uh, the lady that lives, well, it's the daughter of the farmer that lives in the neighbouring cottage, was uh, squeaking two foxes out in the paddock at the side of her house. It's the third time she's seen them. The third time I've been here, every time I've been back here, they've not shown up. So uh, it's currently 26 degrees and it's the 14th August and uh, it's going to be a nice warm night. The sun's just coming down, about another half an hour of sunlight and I'm driving straight towards now. And at the moment there's very little wind, so I'm not even going to bother putting out some stinky fish bait tonight. I don't see there's any point. So I'm just going to set myself up really quietly, just sit there and wait and see if these chaps come out again tonight. Uh, she's been baiting it with dead chickens regularly, so uh, hopefully they might come out in the hope that there's a bit of KFC for them. So we'll see you in a little while. Let's get set up. Well, coming up in this episode, the classic reason why you should always keep your skin covered up when shooting, I mean gloves and a face veil. Uh, not ideal in this hot weather wearing a face veil, especially like me, if you've got sticky out ears. I think my mum used to pull me out of the bath by my ears, whereas my mate used to get pulled out of the bath by his tongue. A bit unusual, but 30 years on, when he used to sit in a pub on a Friday night, he never went home on his own without a new girl. He used to just sit there quietly licking his eyebrows all night. Anyway, enough of that, let's get on with some foxing action. I'll see you in a little while in the field. That's the third story window where um, the lady that lives here has been watching these foxes. And as you can see right in front of it is the main power cable to this row of cottages. So perfect reason why she's not let blast with a shotgun herself because um, it put everybody into a power cut so that's why she's asked me to come back here on these occasions so parked up now in the gateway to this field so we'll see if um, our little friends turn out oh the time's right it's just what's well, just coming up to quarter past eight 45 yards away is a set fox trap with an absolutely rank stinking chicken in it uh, the one that was laid, laid out on the grass last night was taken, so what the lady's done, she's put the trap out there with a fox in there. We've got it just set up, just as we've got a fantastic sunset coming down there, so I think the sunset is about half eight tonight, so we're all sat ready. This is apparently the corner where Matey Boy comes out of, so we'll see if they actually do what they've been doing for the last three nights. So this is the field in front of me. It's about 110 yards of that tree you can see in the distance. I've actually broken those branches down after I filmed this. Around a sort of 40 yards uh, the hedge line there, just in front now is where that fox trap is. And then this hedge line is sort of 10 yards away. So that's where I'll be shooting tonight. Very close range stuff. And on the subject of camouflage, you may remember this video that uh, a buddy of mine, John, sent me of this lovely blue horse box while he was out with his green paint. John, remember, is an ex-tank regiment bloke, so uh, you can see his uh, experience has paid off. So a couple of hours pigeon shooting, 75 pigeons there. Um, that was a good job. There you go. Pigeon production line. So two hours shooting pigeons and three weeks cleaning that mess up. <laughs> well done John, nice job. See if I can get a bit of fresh bait to put out. That's 70 yards away, so at least I know the rifle's zeroed. Right, so the rabbit I just shot 
at 70 yards a few minutes ago. I've just brought it back over now and I've put him along about 7 yards out from this hedge line where they've been coming through. Opened him up with my knife and sort of emptied him out so the smell of that will hopefully drift around. So we've got a combination now of stinking fish, fresh rabbit and weak old rabbit plus a stinking old chicken. So there's plenty of snacks here for him to come to. Let's just hope they're hungry. It's just now starting to get that sort of time when the fox is around about patrolling. This fella nearly caught me napping. Oi! Oi! That's him out for all account. That came over from the left hand side, so it's not the one I was after. Well that's just coming up to half past ten, so that's bang on time. But that one, I noticed it came right down from the left hand side. It went into the hedge and out of sight. And the next time I saw it, it was directly in front of me, on the opposite side of the hedge. And then it came back out about 30 yards down to the left through the hedge on the way up towards the stinking rabbit um, he was actually coming straight towards me when I shot it um, now he was only 28 yards away from me there that's why I gave him lots of hold under probably got him just in the neck somewhere but put another one in here just to make sure so he's got 80 odd grains of lead in him so more than a 243 would have given him in one dose. Well, that's now quarter past 12. I'm going to call it a day now. Um, it was half past 10 when I shot this fox that came in from the left. I was expecting him to come from the right hand side, which is what the uh, farmer had told me. But uh, anyway, as I say, you've got to keep looking around. Although it's been here for a good couple, couple of hours, it's probably as stiff as a board. It's a little dog fox, but uh, anyways, one out, one less out of the way. Shot in the neck, the first one, second one. Finished it anyway, but um, there we go. I can leave that as a little present for the farmer's um, daughter this morning. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, there's a couple of squirrel feeders out, so we might be back on those uh, in the near future. Please remember to click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, there's always a few useful tips and bits of information I try to give out. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you again on the next video soon. In the meantime, cheerio!